Hello folks and welcome to the next update in our Ched Demo series uh, which also marks hopefully my first successful experimentation uh, of using green background chroma key so if it is working then you're hopefully seeing the land yacht uh, behind me plugged into some various charging uh, stations so um, over the past few weeks um, I have been basically running tests, uh, going to some of the different manufacturers' charging points and finding that they don't quite implement the demo all in the same uh, fashion. So uh, Colin and the guys at uh, TV TV have been working away diligently on the software I've been sending them the, the log files you know error reports and CAN bus captures and what's been going on but uh, we had a few good milestones this week um, I had my first successful charge at this um, SGTE fast charging station um, not at the full 120 amps uh, my first successful charge was at 60 amps and uh, with some cold mods then we took that up to the full uh, or sorry well we took that up to 90 uh, 90 amps still haven't gone to the full 120 that the uh, station reports itself capable of performing uh, my local aero, aero environment station is extremely stable uh, and works quite well and we're still um, having some problems with the EFAC I believe is how it's pronounced uh, three standard stations these are the type that uh, provide uh, CHEDEMO, SAE combo and 43 kilowatts three phase AC power uh, so we've been working away on that. Uh, this morning I ran some tests at the local Aero Fireman station and I'm going to show you guys a few clips of that. It's kind of the proverbial watching paint dry stuff. Uh, but what is interesting to observe in these clips is that um, the car uh, went through the whole tapering the fast charging current down from the full 125 amps uh, down to about 5 amps now we had programmed it to terminate charge at 10 amps uh, but for some reason it just didn't do that so I'll be uh, sending the log files back to the guys uh, to see why that was the case but um, yeah so it's been very uh, it's been tiring in a lot of ways uh, but it's been very good it's been very educational and um, it's just it's just really great to be able to have that facility uh, to fast charge my car and uh, that's a facility that we're definitely going to be putting into their Panzer and um, I'll be probably having to get an, another um, demo connector for that and uh, start doing the various uh, wiring up to make that happen so I'm going to put these clips on and uh, as, uh, as always guys uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you all soon okay folks we're back at our demo fast charging station and we are charging again on the aero environment charger and hopefully these numbers will come out uh, we are currently in the tapering stage of the fast charge so unlike the cells in the OEM vehicles that have a very linear um, charge curve the LifePo4 cells in the land yacht um, have a very flat one so we're basically aiming to hold 175 volts um, which is in the blue numbers and our current is in the red on the right hand side and we're basically dropping that back from 125 we're now down to 112 on the dis display here 
So I'll come back in a few minutes uh, when we're pretty much down to a full battery. Okay folks, we're pretty much um, at a full battery scenario right now, so our current is dropping back very, very quickly. We're at 60 amps and just over 175 volts, and as you can see the taper is really beginning to uh, kick in now. But we're holding voltage very well, not faulting out on any errors uh, as we had during a previous taper current setup. Um, so Colin's work on the software has definitely made a big, big uh, difference here. We're now dropping towards 50 amps. And uh, I imagine the fans have just cut off in the fast charging station, so I'd imagine that's due to the reduced power. Fortunately, we have someone using the car wash beside us here. So dropping through 45 amps. It's a bit like watching paint dry, but uh, it's just interesting to see it working properly. It's a very different charge curve to the uh, NMC cells that are the ma manganese cells and we will have uh, quite a different response when we work with the uh, Renault Fluence battery for their, their Panzer We've now got a forklift dropping some pallets beside us. Might help, I suppose. Now at 30 amps and falling. Our software is configured to terminate charge when we hit 10 amps. And so far we're pretty much on target to make that happen. I can of course at any time press the stop button on the fast charger which would, uh, which would also terminate charge but I'm just interested to see it happen autom automatically here. Um, be very important if, it's, if I decided to plug the car in and go off to do something. Twenty amps and holding. Eighteen amps. Heading towards termination current. Mm. 